So this is a, a pretty short video just dealing with the next uh, type of polymerization reaction and that's uh, known as condensation polymerization. Absolutely nothing new here uh, for you but we'll just quickly uh, talk about what makes a good monomer for this type of reaction. So a good monomer two reactive termini and so by that I mean the ends of the molecules are reactive and can participate in condensation reactions. So primary diols, that is uh, OH groups on either end of a molecule, dicarboxylic acids or diamines, all are good starting points for this type of polymerization. I'll just quickly show you what I mean by that. So here you have a diol. So that OH group will, will be able to react with this dicarboxylic acid. And so that OH group and the OH group of the dicarboxylic acid react. So we get off water, condensation reaction, and we form that um, ester bond between the alcohol and the carboxylic acid. But the thing is, I still have this reactive OH group and this reactive OH group on the ends of this a uh, new molecule that's been formed and so this molecule comprised of a diol and a dicarboxylic acid will continue to be reactive, will continue to bond uh, with other ends of similar molecules. So the, mole the chain can continue to be built. Similar with the um, diamines, so if you remember this is where I'm going to get a reaction with an amine and a carboxylic acid and there I get my amide linkage which we also refer to as a peptide bond so I get my amide linkage and so I now have a dicarboxylic acid uh, bonded to a diamine and I still have the reactive termini at the end so on this end of the amine I have that NH2 group which can react and back here on my dicarboxylic acid, I still have that OH group that can react. And so those are why these types of molecules uh, are very useful starting points for uh, condensation polymerization. So let's look at a couple of examples. The first one is, is uh, a polyamide, and you've probably heard of this Kevlar. So Kevlar is a very useful material, and it comes uh, about by condensation polymerization between terephthalic acid which we would commonly refer to as one for benzene dioic acid and phenylene diamine or one for diaminobenzene and so here's where we're going to form that bond that est uh, amide linkage and so the molecule we get looks like this so C double bond O bond OH benzene ring C double bond O is still there, bond N, that has an H, benzene ring, with my NH2 terminus. And so a couple of things about this molecule. So this is a this is Kevlar. When this polymerizes, this is Kevlar. Reactive hydroxyl group on one end, reactive amino group on the other end. But the interesting thing about Kevlar, part of the thing about Kevlar is its, is its mass to strength ratio is a, uh, well, strength to mass ratio is about the highest uh, known for a lot of, of products and part of the reason is is right here. So between the chains that's a N bonded to a hydrogen. So that's going to link with via a hydrogen bond with another strand of Kevlar. So that's what gives it its great strength. Also very heat resistant so it's a very useful material um, is Kevlar and so made up of terephthalic acid and phenylene diamine. So an example of a polyester is PET which is um, which is uh, made up of again of terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol and uh, PET stands for polyethylene terephthalate 
and so it gets put together via a bond forming right here and so we know that as an ester bond and when we get our ester bond the molecule then that results again we have our C double bond O bond OH benzene ring of the terephthalic acid C double bond O and now I have my ester bond and then I have a couple of carbons and I still have my reactive OH group and so there's my uh, molecule that's going to polymerize Again, it's going to polymerize because I still have a hydroxyl group and I still have a hydroxyl group so the ends are still reactive and so that's uh, a polyester and there's lots of, of polyesters around um, you may have heard of a couple of them. There's there's a couple uh, very common ones. Dacron is the registered trademark name, and uh, Dacron is very commonly used as a fiber. It's used in rugs. It's used in clothing. Uh, very common. And then uh, another one is is mylar which you also may have heard of. And mylar can be um, formed into very thin sheets, and so it's uh, a common component of uh, plastic film for bags and also for the magnetic, for the types of tape you see in, in uh, magnetic tape strips and things like that. So those are a couple of examples of, of condensation polymerization. Now in terms of finding the monomer, again you still need to be able to do that but it's really not that hard because condensation polymerization you're always looking for carboxyl groups. So there's the carboxyl group of interest and there is my amide linkage and so now I can see my two molecules and so the two molecules I have again they're C double bond O, OH, and I'm going to shorten this to CH2, and so there's one, two, three, four, CH2, four, and then it's bond C double bond O, OH, so that's six carbons, so that's one, six, hexane, dioic acid, and then here I have my amino group, so there's my NH2 at the terminus, and again I'm going to shorten this down, and that's CH26 NH2. And so that is also hexane 1,6 diamine. And so those two are the molecules that would make up this monomer. This monomer, by the way, is nylon, and specifically it's nylon 66, a specific type of nylon. And that concludes this video.